The burdens of owning a car are far more serious than high gas prices and getting it washed every once in a while. When driving the average car for six miles, you release five pounds of climate-threatening carbon dioxide, half a pound of health-threatening carbon monoxide, and a few grams each of smog-forming hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. The car yields nearly 8,000 calories of fossil fuel energy, almost 40 times the energy used if you were riding a bike. Did you know that North Americans drive more miles than all the rest of the world combined? The average American drives their car 11,600 miles a year, and half of all the car trips are five miles or less. Have you seen the size of some Americans? If they were riding a bike, no chemicals would be released at all, and the fatty would lose around 200 calories in less than six miles. So is a car worth its real external cost, when 95% of the non-renewable energy being generated just moves the car itself? If you were riding the average bike, almost all the energy supplied by your muscles Move only you alone, mostly. In my opinion, cars are only um, worth it for the trips more than five miles long. <laughs> now, I'm obviously not asking for everyone to give up using their cars, but at least think twice before driving uh, your car to a mile away because you can't be bothered to walk to your local grocery store. Or if you're an American, it's the local McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs>